Wee Schwag, what's in the bag? Everyone, it's me, Dom Wazir here, and today I'm finally bringing you guys some more We Happy Few. Now, since last time I played, game got a huge update. Like, as you can see right here, the main home update. A lot of big changes, which means I need to. Yeah, I got this guy still here, but I need. I'm gonna need to start up a new game if I want to see the updates here. So, um. With all that being said, uh, I'm gonna cut till I think, of, unless there's something new in between, I'm gonna cut when I get the first base. So I'll see you guys there. Oh yeah, that's right. They added uh, difficulty modes now that they've been talking about adding for a little while. Word Watcher is just for those of you who or really like the story and just want to get engrossed in it, but it's just like, I love the story, but it's also just such a unique survival game that I don't want to give up the whole survival aspect about it. But then again, I'm not a masochist, so I'm just going to play it the same way we did last time. Boop. Uh, no permadeath. And there we go. Alright. See you guys when I get to the first safe house. All right, we're back at where we are at the first safe house. We're uh, gonna take the place back. We're gonna open it up and there's gonna be a crazy guy who's gonna fight us. One thing I noticed though is that your stash is now a pneumatic stash, I guess. And I saw a tip in a loading screen saying you can use uh, crafting materials from this thing anywhere you go, which is gonna be handy. Anyway, let's hack this. Oh, there's an animation for it now. That's cool. That's actually really cool. Uh, my eyes itchy. Okay. Alright, let's fight this guy. We've come to the end of our time. We've come to the end of our time. Parried. Get. If you block at the last second like that, it parries the first fight I've won since primary Saw that in a tip. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. That's different from what you said last time. Oh, and by the way, if you guys were wondering, a uh, little bit of different inventory this time around. I actually got an antiseptic. So if we find that guy again, we'll actually be able to help him. Let's see if this guy's actually got something on him. No. Uh, there anything searchable in here? Or is it just the button to turn this place on? Oh. Oh, I didn't notice this before. What's this? What's in here? Oh, what the hell? This is freaky. Uh, an empty joy dispenser. A rotten carrot. Joy pill and oh, it's just the dispenser. Uh, another rotten carrot. It's gonna be useful if we had those pills again. I, why did I not notice this before? What's down here? Oh, a fresh carrot. Oh, this dude was fucking watching me and shit. Looks like he went crazy from the lack of joy, and... Did he kill someone with a radio? What's that creaking sound? That, that's annoying. Oh, there's that door again. Acting up. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> the best way to get under someone's skin. Lol. If that tip is true, I'm just gonna leave that in there. And if I go to crafting... Is there anything I have that requires... A... Syringe? I'm just gonna assume that everything I put in there is gonna carry over. Like the tip said. Oh, a little lag there. I don't know what, wonder why. Alright, 
we're back out into the world, out into the fray of things. Let's drink some water. There was a canteen there last time. Did I just miss it or whatever? I'm sure we'll find it when we go back anyway. What the? Oh, I have a proper suit. I think I should actually tear that up. I think I can do that for free. Oh, shit. Unless, can I just... No, I can't just tear up a torn suit. Well, this complicates things a little bit more. And I still have the red eye with or without it. Shit. I need to be sneaky even in the day now. This, this is kind of, this is gonna be challenging. Let's, uh, let's just try to avoid people in general. No, no, I don't. I'd tear him up if I could. Oh, hey, 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 what the fuck are you doing? Go away. I'm not trying to hurt you. I can't get that fucking. It's not personal. Can I just. Oh, well. Borrow these. Okay, a couple weapons. Next to my pill, that's gonna be useful. Alright, this will be good for checking the syringe. Yeah, I got the syringes. I can craft with them in that inventory. That's really nice. Oh, that poppin'. Pure water. Rotten potato. Alright, my plan with rotten stuff is I'm just gonna wait until I'm, like, nearly dying or something like that of hunger. I'm gonna eat a... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Not checking upstairs, at least not right now. I mean, this weapon's good, it's just it's real low in durability. Okay, good. Percy told me about these. They're good for wounds and things. It is pronounced Gilead. I didn't. I couldn't tell if they were pronounced Gilead or Gilead before, but now that confirms it. Thank you, Arthur. All right. Let's take as much of the stuff as we can get our hands on. Wait. Blue current. Always useful. If it is just a little bit of food. This is a pretty little area. Alright. Shit. It's not having a torn up suit makes this thing a whole lot harder. Then again, if I can just find a torn up suit, that'd be nice. Let me just check again. What did I collect off those people? Yeah, just some sticks and shit. Alright. Let's get us much of this stuff as we can because obviously healing stuffs in any game is always always useful this area is kind of pretty yeah uh oh more blue current but for some reason i feel like there's a trap out here or something It's leading a new player like me into some sort of, like, death trap. It's just a bunch of woods that way. 
check the map. Yeah, there's, there's like, doesn't look like there's anything out here. So let's just correct, co correct, collect the surrounding Gilead leaves. I didn't want to do that. Want me some mama? Aww. Just randomly out of nowhere. Let's go ahead and make a medicated bomb. And a couple healing bombs. Let's leave the rest for anything else we might need it for. Let's go ahead and use one. There we go. Up to full health. More Rowan Berry. More blue current. More of all the nice things in life. Oh, oh. I'm like ultra cautious and wary now. Like. Dirty bandage, okay. Every little bit helps. Especially in a survival game. What's this over here? Uncle Jack live in person. Cult of Jack. Shit. I want to get a torn up suit or something to blend in with first. We need to start looting some houses. Fuck. Um. Is there any of these houses I can actually enter? Come on, game. A post box, nothing. Anything over here? Come on, give me something to work with here. Here's... Alright. Here's a little something-something to work with. Shit, there's a guy right there. Some rowan berry in that kettle. Thing over here. This looks useful. Torch. A whole bunch of canvas. And a mushroom. Ooh, I think they might have heard me. Alright, I'm sorry about this, but... Sorry, had to. It's must when the devil drives. What he said, head knocker. Whatever that is, I'll take it. Both of those, please. Blue current, always a little good, little bit of food. Any sewing kits? That'd be lovely. Alright. Coin. What's in this dresser? A lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Bunch of good things, bunch of good things. What do we got here? Uh, a torch, or as we call it in the US, a flashlight. Whatever, they're the same thing. Um, where's my food at? 58%, let's... Uh... Let's munch on a rotten potato. 
Ah, I didn't want to do that. Oh, I hope I can keep this down. Feel queasy. Or relapses naturally. Okay, we can eat small amounts of rotten food. As long as they're small. So, alright. Oh. Okay, that's going to be just great. I'm just going to get dizzy every now and then. As long as I stay stealthily and I... I hope that doesn't interfere with combat too much. Whatever the fuck to. only comes at night. we got here. Come on, give me another house. Alright, are there any more searchable houses near here? Come on. Alright. This is gonna... Seems like it's gonna continue on for a couple minutes. Um, what's down here? Is that a cop? That seems like a cop. Can I just take him down? Is that just a guy with... No, I don't think it's a cop. All right. I wish I didn't have to do this, but this won't hurt a bit. I actually think you owed me a bit of money. Ooh. Good bit of stuff. He had a a bobby hat on, but What all is down this way? I haven't seen anything like this before. Oh god, the dizziness spells. These are gonna be a problemos. A lot of cloth scrap, but... Dig spot 2 was added to map. Okay. Alright, the f the f queasiness is going away here in just a little bit. Okay. Um, canteen, no water. Let's... Where's my hunger at? 74. Let's go ahead and eat a couple blue currants. Oh, joy made you forget what your hopes and dreams were? That's sad. Alright, let's drop one of these branches. What the hell are you going on about, Jack? Dear God, what the hell is that, that shit that he's spouting? Do we just not hear this fucking twisted shit that he says when we're hopped up on the drug or something? What's this over here? Is that a dog? There's some sort of statue of cops, or people posing as cops anyway. They seem to actually be walking though. Oh, that's a bench. Oh, I, I think I need these in the future. Look, a little tree house. No girls allowed. Special operations executive. 
Oh, hi. I can barter with him? Be all right. Welcome to the Special Operations Executive. You're the new agent, aren't you? Alfie, what's his name? Great. Here are the other agents. This is Charlie Croker, Jack Carter, Gonville Bromhead, Joe Vandeleur, and Nigel Powers. But we're missing Peachy. Peachy Carnahan. He's been kidnapped, and you have to rescue him. All right? Brilliant. Here's everything you need to rescue Peachy. J Jimmy Bar? Okay. Um, need to drop something here. Moldy bread. I'm doing good on food. Let's go ahead and drop. Hmm. Let's go ahead and equip a head knocker and drop a lead pipe, considering it's about to break. Now I can pry stuff open with this Jimmy bar. How can I barter with him? I have one. I could really use a sew sewing kit though. That'd be really nice. As soon as I get eight of those coin thingies. Coming back to you, Jimmy. <laughs> Wonder if these have any other uses except for the bouquet. Um, what's my thirst looking like? Oh, it's a bit low. Let's drink that. And the canteen stack, good. Oh, hit F instead of uh, E. Playing a lot of payday. No, I haven't recently. Played. I just play a lot of that game in general. Um. All right. A lot of stuff here. I'm thinking I'll leave. Uh, I'll leave Rowanberry and Rosa Gilead, Gilead at my base in the pneumatic storage thingy, Mabobber, and. That's, and I'll use all that for crafting. Wonder if I can sneak up on another one of these guys. They seem to be wastrels posing as cops, as bobbies. What's all that gas? I'm gonna go near there. Or do I? Are these? Or do the wastrels just go out at night if they have those? And they're not really posing as cops. I really don't know, to be honest. With the way some of them act, I'm really not surprised if some of them are acting like bobbies. Alright, let's uh, head back to base and drop off some of this stuff. So I can actually start picking stuff up again. Plus, my character is getting actually oh, geez, really enjoy. tired. We'll never get them back, will we? Take all the stuff we can pick up along the way, though. Alright, let's keep going. We covered a lot of distance in this episode, though. Although, in that update, they said that they were spreading things out more. I can't keep doing this. Well, you gotta, Arthur. You gotta. Love a sewing kit, because I got everything else I need to make a torn suit, except for, uh, freaking... Alright. Can I sneak up and kill this guy? Just turn around. Come on, buddy. Turn around. Are you really going in there? Okay, there he goes. I think he's turning around, coming back here. When he does, choke him out, take his shit. Now 
have a little bit of patience. Alright. What's this AI even doing here? There we Please go. Just lie down. <laughs> Do you have trouble catching your breath, Jack says, as I'm choking someone out. Alright. Now he's able to take all that stuff. Good. Good, good, good. Goodies, goodies, goodies. Alright. Back to the safe house. Maybe I can check things out in the other direction. Alright. I don't think I used to do track and field. Wait, anything searchable up here? No toppled over dress or anything? God, it's dark. Hideout's right here. Alright, center the hatch. Did I miss a canteen on here? No, I did not, actually. Diary, though, I missed. We already read through this. I took into the lights like the doctors ordered. I could swear I see the shapes in there moving around like shadows, but made of light. Check around the corner. Jelly beans. Hmm. It looks like this... Oh. It was the guy over here who we killed. This guy. Yeah. He went crazy from lack of joy because apparently someone replaced it with jelly beans or something like that. Alright. What crafting materials can we put in here? Let's actually go and just eat these. Unless, yeah, let's eat them, because. Hunger back up to a hun hunted. All right. Canvas scrap can go in there. Charcoal also. Gilead petals. Um, cloth scraps. Antiseptic. Unless I find that guy, I'll keep that. I'll actually keep the antiseptic. I'm not going to use the glass bottle, I don't think. Branch, you can go in there. Um, feather, go in there. Duct tape, go in there. More Gilead petals. And the blooming nonsuch. And the middle bits. Alright. I'm gonna sleep mm. for the duration that I need to. You'll move, Sandman. Alright. Actually, 
I don't know. I think we've been recording long enough for this episode. So, yeah. I think we're good, but I might just start another episode right after this one. Wait, what's this? Motil... Resublimated... What the fuck? I can't even pronounce half those things, but I guess the liquid that goes into these thermal whatevers? Whatever. It's this shit. The do not consume, do not drink. Anyway. That wraps it up for this episode. I hope you liked it and everything. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this game, actually. I really like its story and its concept and it and how it tackles a survival game. It does it a lot differently. I said this stuff in the first episode, but I still think that my point still stands. I just re I actually really like this game. And uh, I'm really enjoying it. And I'm really make enjoying making videos on it. And if you guys like it, it, it only makes this so much better at the same time. So, again, hope you guys enjoyed Leave a like if you did, all that good stuff. Subscribe if you enjoy the content on here. You know, self-explanatory crap. And I will see you guys in the next episode.